Good day everyone. Here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. If the square ABCD is rotated around the vertex A to produce the square A, B prime, C prime, and D prime, then the question is, what is the measure of the angle shown? You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, let's answer this question together. Our goal is to find the measure of this given angle without any measurement on the length of the side of the square. Now, the question is, how are we going to answer this question? Now, take note that we don't have any given lengths in this figure. So, what we're going to do to answer this question is to insert its diagonal like this. But the question is, why we choose its diagonal? Because we will use the property of the diagonals of the square. Now, take note that the diagonals of the square is perpendicular by sector of each other. So, this is 90 degrees. And now, if we let the diagonal of this square must be equal to 2x, and since diagonals of a square bisect each other, Therefore, this segment right here must be equal to half of 2x or simply x. Now, let's focus on this right triangle right here. Now, what have you noticed? We have small leg must be equal to x and the hypotenuse must be equal to 2x or twice the measure of the shorter leg. Now, recall that in special right triangle 30, 16, 90, observe, that the shorter leg must be equal to x and the longer leg is twice the measure of its shorter leg. Therefore, this triangle right here is a 30-60-90 right triangle. And the angle right here opposite the shorter leg must be 30 degrees. Next thing to do is to consider the other special right triangle right here, which is 45-45-90 right triangle. Therefore, this angle right here is 45 degrees. Now, let's consider this obtuse triangle. And take note that this angle right here is what we want to find. And also, recall that we have a theorem that is related to this figure. So let's recall the exterior angle theorem. The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. Therefore, this angle right here must be equivalent to the sum of these two acute angles, 45 degrees and 30 degrees. And 45 degrees plus 30 degrees will give us 75 degrees. Therefore, the measure of this angle must be equal to 75 degrees. And as always, we are done.